Get out of here, Fulton. What are y'all doing in here? We're playing Chipsons, and you don't want no part of this shit. You're playing Chipsons? Yeah, of course we are. Can't you hear it? No, Sam. I can't. Come on, Fulton. Join the party. No, Fulton. You don't want this. Get out of here. You know what? I don't want no cut fingertips. I can't get no cut fingertips. It doesn't give you cut fingertips. Well, will I get arrested or something? It's not illegal to own. Okay, well, I don't know. I don't want to break something on it. You can't break it. It's not going to make me hate playing guitar, is it? It makes you play in even better. It sounds kind of expensive. It's the cheapest guitar there is. Hmm. You don't want it. I think I kind of want it. Okay, just this once. Grab a pick and come on in. Hi guys, welcome to Fulton Street Beats. We have another budget guitar Chipson unboxing. We call them all Chipsons. I, I call them that, just so you know, because, well, everybody knows what that means. So that's why we do it. Um, it is a Chinese guitar that's made to look like another guitar, or loosely resemble one. And um, as you can see, this box has been through World War III. This is insane. Now, this is how FedEx lately has been doing this. As you guys know, we've had a broken guitar neck in the past. A lot of damaged boxes that are getting worse and worse. It's tore open here. It's smashed in here. I can feel the guitar with my finger. The tip of the guitar here is actually <laughs> coming right through. Um, yeah, this is bad. So, look at this. This is crazy. And it has been relabeled. This is what happens every time FedEx has a package longer than they're supposed to and they don't deliver on time. Um, if they're keeping your package over the weekend, forget about it. Um, I wish these manufacturers would stop using FedEx. They're a horrible, horrible company. Nothing but bad luck one after another. So that's my venting thing. This makes me sick to my stomach because I paid a pretty good amount for this uh, guitar. And what is it? Well, you guys know, to see. Let's unbox it and uh, see what kind of shape it's in. Hopefully everything's okay, but... I don't have a really good, um, really good feeling about this one. So, yeah, this is, uh, this is not giving me a one cushy feeling. And it is with Libra, so if there's a problem, I'm sure the seller will take care of it. However, this is just not, um, exactly how I like to do things. I don't like to start my day out this way. And what's really ironic is, well, I'm going to keep it this way. They deliver this guitar in the morning... And they never deliver in the morning. So it's like, hey, let's drop it off when someone's at work type of thing. Yeah, because if I, I didn't see it hit the forge, or I would have said something right away. If that, so let's let's do this. There's no excuse because the you, I mean, the foam they use in these are, are, is good. But look at it. This is just horrid. Look at this. I mean, wow. So fingers crossed, guys. And this big hole. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Um, let's do this and see what we got. I am not. I am not. Uh, look at this though. Same exact same paperwork we always get, guys. LS Custom Shop paperwork and guarantee where these are coming from. So if you see these in here, that don't mean nothing. But you guys probably spot right away what this is. And uh, if you see any polka dots on it here. Already, you'll know that this is a. Hopefully, it's not broke, guys. Hopefully, we're okay. This is a rainy roads flying V. And I'm you know what? Let me get this. Let me get this case team out. Case K. Let me get our shitty cord and truss rod out of the way, dear. Let's get this box out of the way, okay? And then we'll then we'll really dive into this and check this out. Now, this is something I always always wanted. Um. Big Randy Rhodes fan. Huge. I'm more than anybody Randy Rhodes fan. And uh, so I, this is something that I always wanted. Now, y'all see these things with the Floyd on it. And um, his original one didn't have a Floyd. So I did not Floyd. I want this one. It's cool, right? Come on. Be okay. Fingers crossed, guys. Fingers crossed, right? Um, I don't want to send it back. I don't want to. Please don't be broke. Please don't be broke. Please don't be dowaged or scratched. Please let it be simply superficial to the box. So I have to tell you right now, it's got the chrome. Um, look at this. I don't know, I've never seen this before. 
So we have our bass player handy. Um, oh, nice. Okay. Look at that headstock. There we go. There we go. Of course, it's got the cheap tuners on it. I'm not worried about that. We can change those. Please don't be broken anywhere. No marks so far up here where they would tend to break. They got stepped on. Really good looking polka dots. Um, really well cut nut. As you can see, we've got the bow tie inlays. Nicely done frets. Appear to be a jumbo fret. They're on the verge of being a jumbo. That's that's par for course lately. Will these guitars, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's see. Please don't let this be damaged. Guys. Oh, it is damaged. Look at this. They It is. They nailed it right on the end right there, didn't they? Isn't that terrible? Wow, I know. I mean, guys, it was 300 bucks. It's $300, and it's damaged. And other than that, it would have been very nice, um, but it's damaged. Ah. <laughs> so, of course, we have our switch cupboard. Everything's looking good on the guitar as far as looks goes. It's... Shame, what a shame. What a shame. I want to check some things on this. Let's check our neck straightness real quick. Um, this is, of course, this is not a typical unboxing. Well, again, we are not in our studio. Uh, we are down here because it's still in a mess, but I didn't, ex I, this box came and I said, let's get right over the table and unbox it so we can get a hold of the seller if we have to. Um, neck. It's perfectly straight, no light underneath, so the, the neck is set fine. So I don't want a damaged guitar, um, especially when you're paying full price. Anyhow, let's uh, see what the action set at, out of the box. We're going to keep this a short little look inside of it. Hell, hell with it. We got it right here, right? I can get a hold of the seller afterwards. Action at the low E is... Is that right? One millimeter. I'm setting these things up. One millimeter and one millimeter. So we've got one on low, one on high. Let's see here. And in the No buzz on the low side. No dead strings. So anyhow, high low E anyhow. The guitar set up. Out of tune, but set up. No buzz, guys. Not happy with that. It is damaged. Let me contact the seller with I'm not going to be worried. Now, let, let me tell you about this guitar, though, because the seller was fantastic. I'll, I'll be honest with you. Now he's out of stock. If you get one, you got to order it from China. Um, and, guys, and I just noticed something. We don't have a mini bar. Yeah. Unless it's here. Nope. Whammy bar is gone. Out of the box, we don't have a whammy bar for the guitar. It is not in here. So, yeah, good job, FedEx. I'm, I'm, I'm just uh, getting sick of FedEx. I'm getting very sick of them because this is getting so... This is It's not, not getting common. It is common. It's, it's all the time. Every time I see FedEx delivery, I go, oh, God, here we go. Horrible company. Um, so, $2.99... The same mahogany body. It's definitely not mahogany. It's way too late for mahogany. So I don't know what's underneath, but they're saying mahogany. It's not mahogany, just so you know. Um, this would be a 2020 model year. They're saying a rosewood fretboard. It does look like a rosewood fretboard. I will give you that. Uh, it does it does have the metal surrounds. The pickup pulls are interesting uh, looking on this guitar because they're like a gold with like an Allen key in the center. They look good. Guitar looks fantastic. Fit and finish of the guitar is, is nice. But uh, we're going to have... Uh, we're going to have... Would I keep the guitar? 
I guess that's the question. Would I keep this guitar? Well, I don't know. It depends. I don't want to wait to get one from China. So hopefully we can... I'm just so sick of correcting mistakes on guitars. I mean, I, I buy a $2,000 Gibson, I got to correct Nitro on it. I buy, you know, an inexpensive guitar and uh, they got perfect finish on them. And then the shipper fucks everything up, basically. Excuse my French. But uh, that's what they do. And, and it's just it's very frustrating. So the cavity covers on this are pretty nice. They're, they're set in nicely. They look good. You guys are feeling my pain out there. I'm just kidding. I don't want you to feel my pain. But small pots in this one. They're just small CF pots. So this guitar would definitely need... I, I And this is a 2000... Keep in mind, guys, this is a, apparently a 2020 model. I didn't see that. Everything that I've been purchasing lately has been a 2023 and exquisite. Now, this is a really nice finish. It's a cool guitar. It's It's not the quality of a 2023, though. Because all those have came with big pots so far this year. Um, and, you know, I haven't, they haven't come with the with the compound inside of them and things like that. Um, 2020 was the year. Well, they're decent, but um, iffy. So what they did is it's not a mahogany body. It looks definitely a lighter wood in the end, but they used a mahogany top on it. I can tell by the green. So it's got a mahogany top. That's why they got away with saying mahogany. So you have a thin, I say top. It's a cat, though. Well, it's thin. It's very thin, um, so keep that in mind, just so you know. And uh, it is a, looks like a one in here in this cavity. Anyhow, it is a it's a one piece minus the top that they put on it. Um, so there we go. There, neck is a uh, it is a, a modern, definitely a modern C neck. Nothing super thin, but nothing super uncomfortable either. I'm going to put this back together, and we will dive into the other parts here but uh, i really wish i would have got them i don't want i might have a bar that will fit this in the studio or in the workshop and so we'll have to take a peek at that but it's just a shame just a shame um tuners i will definitely change the tuners on this even if it doesn't need it just because i want them to look cool and i think i'm i think this is going to be a guitar that's going to get hot rotted and uh and uh, me to because I mean it looks it does look good the fit and finish of the guitar it, it is nice um, but it's, if you can tell it's got the old bell style uh, bell style uh, strap buttons and all the new ones that have been coming in have had the flat ones the nice the nice uh, stainless or nickel ones these are not these are the cheap ones so we'll have to upgrade those um, the input jack on this is kind of kind of low budget too but the, the the build quality of the guitar itself is is decent so is it. Is it close to the best that's come through here? Not even, um, but still, it's still a nice guitar um, for that money, even with the chip, I guess. But we're not, I did pay for a chip, so we're going to see what we can do about that. Um, they don't give a lot of information about these same things. Of course, you guys know that. And um, yeah, 2020 mile a year, not too. I don't know, maybe um maybe I'm better off just sending it back. What do you guys think? Drop it in the comment section below. Would you send it back or so there's our Okay, so that's a big hunk for just the switch. It is in here. So I wonder what they did on the original one. I don't know. I, I don't know nothing much about the original guitar. I know more about his Les Paul than I do this. But um pick that back on there. But it's a pretty, pretty cool guitar. And the tremolo inside, of course, it's just going to be an El Cheapo. I'm not even going to bother getting in there, guys, because uh, we know that I know exactly what tremolo it is. You guys do too. They pretty much come standard on all of these guitars that are, have these tremolo systems. Um, and I opted for not getting the Floyd Rose version. One, because it was more expensive. Two, was because I wanted the version that Randy originally had, kind of like he had. It's got a nice finish. The dots are done really, really well. I like just got a pretty cool headstock. It's a light guitar, by the way. I don't have my scales here, but I'll tell you, it's really like it's it's a lot lighter than the other V that just came in, and that one was light. So, um, but being 2020 model year, I didn't see that at first. I was just excited to to pick up one of these, and um, 
And that's what happened. So, guys, once again, we will come back another time and I'll keep you updated on what's going on with this. I'll take it upstairs, we'll put it in, I'll put it in, and see if it plays. The inlays, by the way, are done really nice. Bow tie inlays and a nice fret job. Uh, the frets are nice. Um, I'd, I'd, I'd call them jumbo. <laughs> Not an extra jumbo, but a jumbo. And um, no fret buzz or anything like that. Seems like it could use a little relief in the neck because it's perfectly straight, but the finish on the guitar is all seen. And that's, I mean, that's when I can say it, other than what they did. I, it was a, it'd be a totally acceptable guitar if it wasn't for what they did here, man. But I can't believe it. I just, I'm just in disbelief. Oh, FedEx. Guys, you know, horrible, man. Holy shit. Worst delivery company ever. Wow. All right, guys. Thanks for watching Full Street Beats. If you could hit that like button, share, subscribe. Um, if I decide to keep this guitar, we will come back with a sound test of it. And uh, we have a lot of sound tests that I've been working on to bring you guys of the other chips and models. And uh, But we'll bring you one of this one, too. And if you guys want to see the headstock rake, there you go. Good-looking guitar. Uh, definitely worth the price, but not worth the damage. All right, guys. Remember, it's rock and roll that makes the world do that curly thing. And I'll be seeing you soon. And I appreciate everyone here.